All right, so we ended up with all these delicious rockfish. Gonna end up cooking them today in the traditional style of fish and chips. Uh, beer battered fish, and we're gonna do actual chips because Mariah wants to do actual chips and whatever she says goes generally, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, gonna start out with the classic tartar sauce. My sauce, uh, actually I can't claim the recipe wholly myself. My good friend McCord Stowater actually introduced this recipe to me back in college. Ever since then, it's been the best. Um, I keep using it. I know he got it from a restaurant up in Lake of the Woods up in northern Minnesota. What you're going to need for this tartar sauce? Red onion, lemon, dill weed, little dill relish, and probably the most important part, Hellman's mayonnaise, even though it's best foods here. Uh, that's the only way to go. That's the mayonnaise you got to have essential to the recipe. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start by chopping up this red onion here. And this, this recipe, this is all feel. This is one of those feel recipes. All right, now we're going to add the mayo. Like I said, this is all feel. But this relish, secret ingredient is a lot of dill weed. I don't know why I like calling it dill weed today, but I do. What a dill. What a dill goes. Big dill. Little dill goes a long way. And you're just gonna add, add, I'd say with this much, I'm gonna add the juice out of one lemon. This is hands down the best tartar sauce known to man. Let me give it a little taste. Mmm, about perfect. Maybe a little more dill, but it's gonna be good. All right, tartar sauce is done. I'm gonna slap that in the fridge real quick and then start working on our beer batter. All right, next up, you're gonna wanna make the beer batter, get that going, get it in the fridge. Self-rising flour. You're gonna use half a cup of that. Then you're gonna use a teaspoon of salt. Real simple stuff. And then uh, half a bottle of your favorite beer. We like Modelo's around here. Say half a bottle, more of a can. I'm gonna whisk it together. You know, just like when you're making pancake batter. So this is about done. Probably the best thing about making a beer batter is you get to drink a little beer yourself. That's good stuff. All right, we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for 20 minutes, it's looking right. So before we get our oil all fishy, we're gonna do the chips ahead of time, keep them warm in the oven and then do the fish um, last. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these potatoes up and we're gonna probably fry those cause the oil's been heating up. All right, so now we're frying these suckers up. Potatoes, sticking them in the basket here. Um, now you could do this on like a cast iron pan, something like that. Um, but yeah, just got this little electric fryer we like to use around the house. Don't wanna do too many cause they'll stick together. That these suckers are nice and golden brown. Just gonna lay them out here on the old paper towels. Could've done a better job. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt them right away. When that oil's still wet, that salt sticks to them. Mmm. Real good. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these, slap them in the oven, and I say that, probably gonna end up eating most of these before they make it to the oven, and then I'm gonna do fish at the end, so. Last step in the process here is batter the old fish up, and then uh, fry them up. Just where all the, uh, just where the rubber hits the road here. Got that oil about 375 degrees for about five minutes and they're done. So yeah, this and we're almost there. Just taking them out of the oil now. They look awesome. 
That's perfect. Real good golden brown. Good stuff. Well, it's a moment of truth here. Finally get to try these, uh, these rockfish. Real good. Like, just like the freaking pubs fish and chips. Um, fun to catch and they taste awesome. Like exactly, I mean, it's like, it's, it is cod. So, delicious stuff. Um, yeah, try this recipe out with them. And uh, yeah, get out after, <laughs> let's see.